Okay, so I'm in the Prince arrived here probably around five minutes ago in a motorcade of black cars, sirens blaring, and of course, a massive security presence down here at Frischman Beach. He's now just, have a look at the pictures, he's just coming in behind me now to talk to some surfers. Here he comes, the Prince himself, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, greeting his fans and the media pack along this security fence here. Everyone wants to get a glimpse of the Prince, of course. And he's, uh, yes, he's just, as we said, spoken to lifeguards up there in the tower and he'll now be talking to surfers. He's also uh, met the mayor of Tel Aviv. This is, of course, after meeting Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife, Sarah, who asked him, uh, who thanked him for his visit. And also he was asked by the President Rivlin to bring a message of hope tomorrow in Ramallah. Here he comes behind us. Let's have another look at the Prince. Certainly looks like he's enjoying his trip to Israel here. And who wouldn't want to come to Tel Aviv and not come to Frischman Beach? It is the place to be. And as you can see, even during a weekday, Ayman, it is absolutely packed with people, not just media, but also punters on their days off, laying down here enjoying the sun. And let's take another look at the Prince now, sitting down, talking to acclaimed surfers, because who doesn't surf when they're in Tel Aviv? I certainly did, Ayman. Okay, so there was an embargo actually on this visit. There were two mystery visits scheduled for the Prince and of course media weren't allowed to give out the location of those. Uh, so the people that were aligning the foreshore definitely knew that something was happening with the mass security presence and the, uh, the boarded off parts of the beach. I spoke to a few people earlier. Some actually weren't aware of the Prince's visit to Israel at all. Others said that they were absolutely astounded that he's here and of course it being the first official visit to Israel by any member of the royal family in 70 years since Israel was declared as Israel. Uh, let's take a listen now, Ayman, to some of the people I spoke to a little earlier. Well, I'm an, I would advise him to probably stay under that shade shelter for a little longer and not spend too much time in the sun down here at the beach, which I'm sure he's not anyway, as the sunlight is very, very harsh and being British, he's quite fair. Um, we know that after this, the, the Duke will also, he will go to a meeting uh, where he'll be delivering a speech. Prime Minister Netanyahu and his wife will also be at that meeting. And then tomorrow, uh, the Prince is heading to Ramallah in the West Bank, where he's set to meet with Mahmoud Abbas. Uh, and as I said earlier, he's been asked to deliver a message of hope to the Palestinians regarding the worsening humanitarian crisis in Gaza and also an escalation of violence on the Israel-Gaza border. So tomorrow it's uh, packed 
full of more events uh, and it's yes it has been quite a I guess long trip by these sort of uh, these sort of trips by a royal. Uh, usually they only only stay for a day or two, but Prince William all up will have been here for four days. So he's definitely managed to fit a lot into this trip, Iman. And I'm sure judging by the smile on his face a little earlier, he would like to come back to Israel and perhaps next time bring his wife, Catherine, and three little children, Iman. Mm. They certainly are. It's absolutely buzzing down here, Iman. People are kind of climbing over one another to get a glimpse. I was just inside the security fence before but got pushed back to the other side. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised soon if the fence actually breaks with the amount of people pushing against it. And uh, yes, there's... As you said, a huge security presence, a huge motorcade just up the top of the beach of black cars with police sirens and lights. And yes, everyone is trying to get a glimpse of the prince here and uh, no doubt that will be happening for the rest of his trip. But of course down here at Frischman Beach, an amazing atmosphere and more people on hand, I guess, uh, just who were down here soaking up the sun on a beautiful Tel Aviv day, Iman.